Here's the cold reality of what is going on in our banking and financial systems. U.S. banking turmoil can't be contained, says Moody's Alerts. So what's happening is capital is just leaving the entire banking sector, right? No one wants to hold their money in banks because the interest they're getting on their deposits is way too low, which is why in white we see flows into money market funds increasing exponentially. So the higher this white line goes, the more capital is leaving the banking system. And in yellow, we see the federal fund Fund interest rate, right? So when this yellow line goes up, the Fed is raising interest rates and capital is fleeing the banking system. And so what they need to do, the only thing that's going to solve this problem is for this yellow line to go down for the Federal Reserve to cut interest rates, right? Otherwise, capital is going to continue fleeing the banking system. What happens when the Federal Reserve cuts interest rates. We've seen it for the last 25 years. Assets do incredibly well. So when is this going to happen, right? There has to be some serious problems in the banking system for the Federal Reserve to finally cut rates. Well, we're starting to see it. In Deutsche Bank, credit default swap risk in white spiking. So when this goes up, banks are completely unsafe. Deutsche Bank right now is as unsafe as it was in the middle of the worst Pandemic low, the U.S. economy has seen in recent memory. March 20, everything was crashing. We're back there, right? So Deutsche Bank does not look good at all. There's all these dominoes falling. We had Silicon Valley Bank, First Republic. Now Deutsche Bank, we had Credit Suisse. The system is just going to unravel until they cut interest rates. So get ready for some volatility. In the meantime, let's dive into the long-term fundamentals of this space. NASDAQ aiming to debut crypto custody service by Q2 end. Everyone's worried about Coinbase being regulated when you have massive legacy institutions like Fidelity and NASDAQ going into crypto, right, for the long term, believing in it. Hive Mapper is 1 million kilometers closer to goal of beating Google Maps. Hive Mapper runs on top of Solana, just like Helium. This is the internet of things. Hive Mapper is competing with Google Maps, rewarding people with crypto for driving and making a mapping service, right? So obviously lots of activity going on Solana, massive activity on Bitcoin. This is the Bitcoin hash rate hitting an all time high. This speaks to the demand of the underlying network. Absolutely massive growth. Price tends to follow this hash rate in the long term. Here's an update from the Graph Protocol making another massive partnership. A subgraph by 0x project is live on the Graph's decentralized network. 0x is the back end for Robinhood, for crypto, for some of these big exchanges that need their back end infrastructure, right? So the Graph just expanding onto OX.